Super infectious Omicron strains have become the dominant COVID-19 variant sweeping the U.S. Yeah, California is now seeing one of its most significant surges since the start of the pandemic. CBS 17's Liz Ortiz is back with us now. Liz, there's growing concern about this. There is, and that's because a number of people are getting reinfected with the virus, and those repeat infections are troubling for health experts. COVID-19 is surging in San Francisco's Bay Area, where Lois Tucker refuses to lower her guard, especially after seeing her brother suffer with long COVID. The thing that bothers him the most is his, his legs and his feet, just like a tingling, numb, strange feeling in his feet. As highly contagious Omicron subvariants sweep the country, more Americans are reporting second infections. And while symptoms are often mild, a new study tracked nearly 40,000 people who had COVID at least twice and found each reinfection creates a new opportunity for serious health risks. Some people, when they get infected the first time, you know, that infection may weaken their immune system in a way or produce some organ damage that make them more vulnerable to having adverse consequences or adverse health risks. Dr. Ziad Alali led the research which found patients with two or more infections had more than twice the risk of dying compared to patients with just one infection. They had three times the risk of being hospitalized and faced higher odds of getting long COVID. If you've had a first infection and you managed to dodge long COVID, having a second infection, you're literally rolling the dice again. Actor Hugh Jackman and Health Secretary Xavier Becerra both reported second infections last month. Mississippi Senator Roger Wicker has had it three times. A reality check that the pandemic is different now, but it's not over. And doctors say the best weapons are still the COVID-19 vaccine and boosters. The FDA has asked manufacturers to design a booster for the fall that targets the newest Omicron variants. Guys.